I was blessed with a gift of being able to turn people's pain into words, their sorrows and the songs, their bad memories into beautiful masterpieces. Last time I wanted to end it all. I didn't really understand mental health. That wasn't something that I was really even looking out for, especially not in myself, because I didn't see it until things slowed down and I was stuck with nothing but my thoughts and but who I am outside of music it forced me to sit down and reflect. I had to come to the realization that I wasn't taking care of myself physically or mentally. I never really got away from myself because a piece of me lies within my fans and the people who relate to me. And I had to deal with that once the world stopped for a little bit. For years, I was just behind this identity of just being Mary Fontaine and no longer who I was before. You really have to come to terms about things that you don't like about yourself and fix those issues. Some people shy away from them or act like they don't exist. So it's kind of like just highlighting your flaws instead of just highlighting everything that's great about you. Kind of all resonates back to the title, Clowns Don't Cry. I'm not just this super perfect robot of an entertainer that just, I have no feelings and I could just crank out hit after hit after hit. I can crank out hit after hit after hit. but. That's not what it's all about, you know what I mean? It's, I'm still a person at the end of the day, I still have feelings, which is why y'all relate to me, this is why you fuck with me. So hopefully I can invoke an emotion that makes you feel related or closer to me, even if we never met or you didn't even grow up in the same type of lifestyle or environment I grew up in. I fell in love with that camaraderie and that closeness that music gave me to the fans and the people who, who enjoyed my music. So as long as I can stay in touch with the music, I'm grateful for it, for real. I can't lose no more friends.